Okay, grade eights, we're now gonna get on to quadrilaterals and their properties, right? So this is on 2D geometric shapes. Okay, we've had other sections on quadrilaterals where we calculated the area. Now we're gonna look in more detail at the different types of quadrilaterals. Quad simply means four. Laterals means lines. So a quadrilateral is any shape with four lines. Here we have a square, trapezium, rhombus or, or parallelogram. Here we have a shape that's difficult to name, and here even this could be a quadrilateral because there's four lines. It's got to have four lines, right? These are not separate lines here. Don't get too confused about this. I just showed you for example. It's got to be 2D. It's got to be a closed shape. It's got to have straight lines. The lines can't be squiggly. It's got to have four vertices. There's a vertice, there's a vertice, there's a vertice, there's a vertice. Don't get confused too much about this. These are four vertices. That is not a vertice because it's not the end of the line. And all the angles add up to 360 degrees. So exactly, I don't want you to get confused here, but all these angles add up to 360. These 360, a square would be 90, 90, 90. We can draw it like that with the square in, and that's 360 degrees. Okay, we're going to look at a square. We're going to look at a rectangle. We're going to look at a rhombus. We're going to look at a parallelogram, or parallelogram, a trapezoid, or a trapezium, depending what you prefer to say, or which country you're in, but you'll see the difference with these two, and a kite. We're going to learn how to correctly label each of these shapes. Let's get started straight away with a square. Right, so square, all the sides are equal. How do we show equal sides? We put a line there, a line there, a line there, and a line there. All those sides are equal. The opposite sides are parallel. To show that a line is parallel, you've got to write a, a triangle like this, and triangle like this, or an arrow. That shows that that is parallel to that. And this shows, we're going to put two here to show that it's not parallel to the other one, but those are parallel to each other. And all the angles are at 90 degrees, so there'll be a square in each of these over here to show that it's a 90 degree shape. So that is your fully defined square. Let's look at a rectangle. The opposite sides are equal. So this side is equal to this side. And this side is equal to this side. But these two are not equal. Opposite sides are parallel. Again, like the square, that is parallel to that. And these two are parallel to these two over here. All angles are 90 degrees, just like our square. So we can draw our right angle in each of these angles. And those are all equal. A rhombus. All the sides are equal, opposite sides are equal, or parallel. I'm going to show you this rhombus here, and all opposite angles are equal. So what do I mean by this? All the sides are equal. That is equal to that, is equal to that, is equal to that. This is also a squashed square, a square that's been pushed over on the one side. All the sides are equal. Opposite sides are parallel, just like our square. That is parallel to that. That is parallel to that. Opposite angles are equal. So now this angle is equal to this angle, but is not equal to this angle, which is equal to this angle. You'll also see that these angles add up to 180 degrees. The bisecting lines meet in the middle at right angles. It is also sometimes called a diamond. So here we have our bisecting lines meeting at a right angle. And it divides these lines in two. So I could draw a third length here on this diagram and show that those are equal, and then even a fourth length here to show that these two lines are equal. Okay, get used to how we're writing and drawing these shapes. Remember rhombus, all the sides are equal, these angles are equal, and these angles are equal, opposite angles. Let's now look at a parallelogram. The opposite sides are equal, opposite sides are parallel, Opposite angles are equal, right? So this is now a pushed over rectangle. The opposite sides are equal. That is equal to that, and that is equal to that. The opposite sides are parallel. Parallel 
parallel and these two are parallel Ooh, they're not parallel to that and parallel and parallel opposite angles are equal that is equal to that and these two are equal to each other let's now look at our trapezium one pair of opposite sides are parallel if non-parallel sides are equal it is called an isosceles um, tra trapezium right so one pair of opposite sides parallel so that is parallel to that. If the non-parallel sides, these two, are equal in length, i.e. if that is equal to that, then it is called an isosceles trapezium. Right? These lengths are not equal to each other. That's 2 and that is a 3 over there. So again, I'm not going to confuse you depending what country you come from, but essentially a trapezoid, a trapezium is where these sides are parallel. A trapezoid is where no sides are parallel. So a trapezoid could look something like this over here. But if you're in the US, a trapezoid is that and a trapezium is that. But we're going to say now a trapezium is that and a trapezoid is that. Okay, don't worry too much about that. And lastly, we have a kite. It's got two pairs of equal adjacent sides, and the two pairs meet the angles are equal. So these sides are equal, two pairs of equally equal adjacent sides. These are adjacent. Adjacent means next to. And here's the second pair of these equally adjacent sides. Where the two pairs meet, the angles are equal. Where this pair meets that pair, and that pair meets that pair, the angles are equal. We can also draw bisecting lines and they meet at right angles. So the diagonals meet at 90 degrees and divide the lines in half. So only one of the lines in half. So that one, two, three is equal to that over there. Okay, let's name these quadrilaterals. What is this? Okay, we have A, B, B, D, O. So these are the same. So this could either be a rhombus or a parallelogram, but the, the lengths are different. It has to be a parallelogram. Okay, let's have a look at this next shape. We have, this looks like a rhombus, but we must read what this shape is telling us. So that is equal to that. That is equal to those. So we have two pairs of equally adjacent sides and one angle is the same. This is a kite. Try and answer the next two by yourself before I go on in the video. We have two equal lens and then two different lens. Hmm, this is an, if I showed you here, these were the same. I'm going to put these here, I forgot to put them. This is an isosceles trapezium. Okay, this looks like a rectangle, but we've got to read what is being written. Okay, we have three or four equal sides. Oh, so it's immediately not a rectangle. It is either a square or a rhombus. A square has all sides equal, but this shows us that A and B are not equal. A is not equal to B. So this must be a rhombus. So this over here is a rhombus. Well done, grade 8. That is quadrilaterals and their properties.